Hi, welcome to Solution Chemistry. My name is Dr. English. Today we're going to look at solubility curves at saturation in 50 and 200 grams of water. Specifically, we're going to look at saturation in 50 grams of water, while in the previous video we focused on 100 grams of water, along with some worked examples. And then we're going to switch it up a little bit and talk about saturation in 200 grams of water, again with some worked examples. Now we're going to change the situation a little bit. The question here asks, what would be the solute mass at saturation, so again, hitting the line, for the following compounds in 50 grams of water? Now remember, if you look at table G, you can see that this is in 100 grams of water, not 50 grams of water. But in this situation, what would it be in 50 grams of water? So the first compound that we're going to look at is sodium nitrate. Sodium nitrate, which is right here, Let's go find that line. Sodium nitrate is way up here. So that line goes right here. That's sort of sad, but that's okay. So sodium nitrate at 40 degrees Celsius. So I'll go down to 40 degrees Celsius, which is right here. And I will go up, up, up until I hit the line, which is roughly around here. And then I will go across. Oh, that was horrible. I will go across and roughly I'm going to say that's probably, if I had drawn a straight line, about 105 grams of solute in 100 grams of water. So in 100 grams of water, we would dissolve 105 grams of NaNO3. But this is not 100 grams of water. Instead, this is 50 grams of water. So what I need to do is to divide that 105 grams by two, and when I do that, I get roughly 53 grams of solute per 50 grams of water. And what you would record is the 53 grams of solute. Let's look at another example, ammonium chloride at 85 degrees Celsius. So again, let's go find ammonium chloride. Here it is right here. And this is the line that goes with ammonium chloride. And at 85 degrees Celsius, I'm going to go up, up, up until I hit the line. And it turns out that it hits almost exactly on the line because if I go across, I can see about 70 grams, so around 70 grams of NH4Cl in 100 grams of water. But again, we're not in 100 grams of water. What are we in? We're in 50 grams. So I need to take that 70 grams, I need to divide it by two, which means in this case, I'll have about 35 grams of ammonium chloride, NH4Cl, dissolved in 50 grams of water. So you really need to pay attention to that. What is the amount of solvent that you're working with? Are you working with 100 grams of water, which is what table G is in? Are you working 50 grams of water? Or might you be working in 200 grams of water? Let's look at some examples of that. What would be the solute mass at saturation, so again, that means it intersects on the line, for the following compounds in 200 grams of water? So let's look at the situation here. Here's our table G. Again, we recognize that our solvent is 100 grams of water. So the first thing that we're going to do is look at our compound. In this case, it's potassium chlorate, KClO3. So let's find KClO3. Here it is right here, KClO3. And this is the line associated with it. Oh, that's sort of sad. And it's at 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, so let's go down to 25 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna take a moment here. Now that I've identified the line, I'm gonna get rid of my blue line right here because that was just terrible. So we see where KCl03 is located. That's great. So at 25 degrees Celsius, I'm going to go up until I hit the line, which is right here. And then I'm going to go across as best as I can. And I can see that we're going to have 10 grams of solute in 100 grams of water but we're not in 100 grams of water. Instead, we're in 200 grams of water, which means we need to double the amount of solute. So instead of 10 grams, in this situation, we're going to be 
20 grams. So in 200 grams of water, we would be able to dissolve 20 grams of KClO3 at 25 degrees Celsius. Let's look at our next example, KCl. KCl at 10 degrees Celsius. All right, where is KCl? KCl is right here, so it is this line. We can identify that line right there. And now we're going to go down to 10 degrees Celsius, which is right there. I'm going to go up until I hit this line, which is right on that line right there. And then we're going to go across, and it is approximately 30 grams. So 30 grams in 100 grams of water which means that if it's 30 grams in 100 grams of water, what do you think we're gonna need for the mass of our solute in 200 grams of water? If you said 60 grams, you are correct. 60 grams of KCl will dissolve in 200 grams of water at saturation. And these are examples of how you work with saturated solutions in 200 grams of water instead of 100 grams of water. So what did you learn? We talked about saturation in 50 grams of water, and then we did a bunch of worked examples. And then we did saturation in 200 grams of water, and finally wrapped it up with some more worked examples. Need more help? Feel free to contact me. Have a great day.